Welcome fellow travelers, Mod Maven here, and I'm happy to bring you a review of this beautiful paradise planet. This planet is in the Euclid Galaxy in a Corvax Tier 3 system. We'll look at the characteristics of this planet and round things out by looking at some of the ships and other planets available, the S-Class upgrades up in the space station, and then finish off with a vibe score. Glyphs will be shown throughout, and if you like the vibe here and build a base, please do be aware of other bases in their proximity. Let's get to it. One of the reasons why I picked this one in particular is all the little valleys and foothills and mountains that you in encounter as you explore around. You can kind of see through there. We have a nice green grass that fades to blue depending on where you are. And then very beautiful bright blue sky with, with some nice puffy clouds, some, some reds in the uh, flora here some dark reds and greens it's pretty large trees actually and this is sprinkled all throughout um, with some pretty fairly dense dense small forests and there's just lots of places little nooks and crannies to explore uh, a very nice color palette with our kind of mist there as we look across the the different mountains and foothills uh, it's a really pretty place. Uh, down there you also see uh, we do have water on this planet. Uh, it is orange water uh, that's kind of interspersed throughout. Uh, but uh, really, really nice place. Lots of, lots of little valley areas and so forth to build. Uh, really beautiful. As far as fauna goes, I did want to show you these twisty horn flying dudes. Uh, so these guys can be uh, grabbed as companions. Um, they're, they're pretty fun. Here you go. Let's take a look at them. There you go. <laughs> nice. And then uh, on down through here, we do have some of the kind of crab type guys with their pokey out eyes. A little purple fringe on that one. We do have some predators on this particular planet um, that's one of them those will run after you those are kind of cool little little guys too and I want to hop over and find the t-rex that's on here because he's really cool looking we'll go find that other t-rex first but I wanted to show you this one yikes look at this guy yeah so if you're into that go for it but whoo all right I've found the other gender this dino so check this out. One of the big reasons I picked this one. Let's get the sun in the right place here. Yeah. It's a little shadow from those horns, but you can see the green stripes and some nice kind of bluish turquoise on the back. He's a pretty cool one. The other gender, uh, pretty scary. All right. Time to do a little flyover action before we head out to space and check everything else out. So, like we saw on the ground, uh, lots of nice trees and little nooks and crannies and valleys to check out. Uh, pretty cool place to cruise around and uh, build and just hang out. All right, out here in space, our first planet, high temperature planet. We'll hop over here and we've got a damp planet torrid planet cool mushrooms there and a noxious planet and our paradise planet okay up here at the space station we've got a wave one with our ships uh, this is a Corvax economy so you're gonna have predominantly explorers you're gonna have seven different types of those and you're gonna have three fighters three haulers seven shuttles and then your one exotic so you can see i grabbed a few screenshots for you so if you want to check these out and come get them have at it okay let's go over the s-class upgrades available up here at the space station your results may vary but i gather these on pc so first for the exosuit we have shield movement radiation protection and toxic protection Then for the Exocraft, we have the Minotaur Laser. For the Starship, we have Phase Beam and Hyperdrive. Then 
Then for the multi-tool, we have the pull splitter. And also available here across the way is some tritium to fuel up your ship. Okay, at this point, we're going to hop down to our paradise planet and give it a vibe score. All right, the vibe score I give a planet is very subjective, but takes into account many different factors on how it makes me feel just to hang out and vibe for a while. So this one with its nice green grass and red and, and all these little nooks and crannies and lovely blue sky to explore. This is a really fun one and it's got some great T-Rexes here too. So for this one, I think we will settle on a eight out of 10. With that, I'd like to thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to catch that vibe.